Naturally Z and welcome back to my channel where I do feature my natural hair journey and part of my natural hair journey is providing you guys with information on how to care for a black natural hair. So this particular video is going to be my series where I break down the ingredients in a product and in this case I'm going to be breaking down the ingredients in a few products from one particular brand because a viewer who happened to watch one of my videos asked if I could break down the ingredients in this brand and it is nature's little secret so if you guys watch this video and you like it please make sure you give it a thumbs up any questions or comments make sure you post them below and last while well, I scratch my head and last make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because I will continue to bring you guys content about breaking down the ingredients in products so now according to my research online it appears to be a black owned company and when it comes to my breaking down the ingredients i am not here to tear down anyone's business or product i'm just here to state to you guys what is in that product and what those ingredients do the majority of the time I don't even have the products because the first thing I do is I go online search for the product and then look at the ingredients that are in that product and I will make a decision from that whether I want to purchase the product or not so that is the case here with this uh, brand nature's little secret the products that they offer are from shampoo conditioner deep conditioner leave-in conditioner and a oils so what I'm going to be reviewing today is the shampoo the uh, conditioner as well as the leave-in conditioner in this case what I am going to do is see what is exactly in these uh, products that are being offered by nature's little secret just to give you a background what rules apply when breaking down the ingredients in a product there are certain things that are standard across the board and you have to take that into consideration when you are analyzing the product when it comes to the ingredients it is required by US Federal Drug Administration that all the ingredients that are in a product be listed in order from highest to lowest concentration so the front label usually does not list all the ingredients that are in the product but if you turn the container around you'll see on the back the ingredients label and you will see all the ingredients that are in this product are listed in order except and this is something that's very important except when it comes to ingredients that are one percent or less in the product those ingredients can be listed in any order and a lot of these ingredients that are actually in a product may be 10 to 12 even 15 ingredients and you will not have an idea what ingredient is important within those one percent ingredients unless you know what that ingredient is supposed to do because some ingredients serve a very important role in the product whereas other ingredients are only there for marketing purposes just to say that that ingredient is in the product the first five ingredients take up most of the concentration in a product's formula and then after that the rest of the ingredients will be on average one percent or less 
in the products formula. So with Nature's Little Secret, what I think her marketing uh, foundation is that they are using natural products. And that is a great marketing uh, idea but when it comes to selling your products in mass you will have to comply with the US Federal Drug Administration laws and rules so you saying that you're using natural ingredients it's a marketing claim that you're making to your consumers when it comes to these different brands they're really trying to sway us into buying their product based on whatever marketing claim that they make because a lot of these brands are using the exact same ingredients but then putting a different packaging on the front and highlighting different ingredients in order to sway you to buy their product instead of buying another product. If you don't look and compare ingredients in each product you may end up buying the same product but just with different packaging. Now that we know what they want to get across to consumers about their product, why don't we just go ahead and look at their products to see what's actually in the product. You only need to look at the first five ingredients on the back label. Those ingredients have the most impact in the work of the product. We got that out of the way. And now we're going to move on to actually breaking down the ingredients in Nature's Little Secrets shampoos. And there are two shampoos, uh, starting with the Lemon and Rosemary Clarifying Shampoo. Uh, the first five ingredients in this product are distilled water infused with lemon and rosemary. Number two is sodium C14 alpha olefin sulfonate. Number three is cocomidal papil betaine. Number four is aloe vera juice. Number five is sodium chloride. And six and seven, I'll just give you those just for the heck of it. I cannot pronounce it. I think it's phenoxyphenol, caprolyl glycol, and sorbic acid. So those are the first six ingredients in the product. And quick rundown of what these ingredients do. The first ingredient... Voice over time, I had a rambling explanation in this video, so I've decided to go ahead and explain it here. Distilled water is a type of purified water which is generally devoid of any impurities or contamination. It's produced by boiling water and condensing the steam back to liquid. It acts as a solvent in hair products, just like regular water, but it's a better quality of water than regular water and has a lower pH level than regular water. So I had to change cameras because I'm telling you my cameras are getting really bad. Uh, the later part of the description where it's saying it's infused with lemon rosemary, that is really confusing. I don't understand what that has to do with washing your hair because the number one thing you want to remember when you are putting these products on your hair, they all have different functions. A shampoo has a different function than a conditioner. A shampoo is simply meant to clean your hair. Remove product buildup, remove oil, remove dirt. So you don't need anything really fancy. There is two types of shampoos. You can use a clarifying shampoo where it is using a harsher detergent or you can use a shampoo that is using a milder detergent. So in this case, with this ingredient of water infused with this lemon and rosemary, the lemon and rosemary are basically just marketing claims highlighted on the front label of the product, hoping consumer will be lured to buy because maybe somebody likes the smell of lemon and rosemary. So don't take those things to help in clean your hair because they're not. So this first ingredient being water and the function of the water is there as a solvent. And what a solvent does is to help with 
combining the other ingredients together to create a nice creamy texture of the product's formula. Water has up to 80% concentration in the product. It takes up the most of the concentration in a formula and then the rest of the ingredients at the highest are 5%. So that takes me to the second ingredient being the sodium C14-16 alpha olefin sulfonate. What that is, is a surfactant. A surfactant basically is a detergent. That is what you need in a shampoo to clean your hair. This particular surfactant is a harsh surfactant. So you want to use this every once in a while, unless you put a lot of product on your hair and you want to really clean your hair, then this is the um, ingredient that you want to have in a shampoo. So the next ingredient is the number three ingredient is the coca mito propyl betaine. That is a, oh and I forgot to say, these ingredients are all common ingredients. You're going to find these ingredients in multiple different brands of shampoos. So these are not unique ingredients at all. So the number three ingredient is the coca mito but propyl betaine and that ingredient is there to help with thickening the product, helping to make the formula be thicker, creamier, and it also helps with creating foam. The number four ingredient, aloe vera leaf juice, that is another non-contributing ingredient in the product is there for marketing purposes to lure a consumer to buy the product is not really doing anything in regards to helping with cleaning your hair remember this is a shampoo a shampoo is intended to clean your hair and aloe vera leaf juice is not an ingredient to do that and besides it being listed number four on the ingredients list it probably has less than 1% uh, concentration in the product, so it will not have a significant contribution towards cleaning your hair. It might provide a good smell to the product, but other than that, it is not contributing to the work of the product. So the number five ingredient in this uh, product is sodium chloride, and it is a thickener. It's another ingredient to help with the texture of the formula helping to make it a creamy texture, but other than that, it is not uh, contributing towards the work of the product. But at the same time, you want your product's formula to feel a certain way, and that's what the sodium chloride is doing. So it is a good supporting ingredient instead of an ingredient that is contributing towards the cleaning of your hair. And then the number six ingredient is a preservative to help it from going bad. So you need to have preservatives. So that is the lemon and rosemary clarifying shampoo. It's $13, not a bad price. It's on uh, the same as other regular shampoos. And what I would say about the ingredients in this product, it's a standard shampoo. The ingredients in the product are common ingredients used in several different brands. So if you want to buy it, buy it, but I don't see anything great about it. But at the same time, I don't see anything bad about it. I think it's a good solid shampoo that is there to help clean your hair. And the other shampoo that Nature's Little Secret has is the Cucumber Nourishing Shampoo. And this one is saying that it's a nourishing shampoo. It's not saying it's a clarifying shampoo. So listing the first five ingredients, it is distilled water. Number two ingredient, coca mito propyl betaine. Number three is the sodium C14-16 alpha olefin sulfonate. Number four is diesel glucoside. Number five is the aloe vera leaf juice. And number six is the phenol and caprolyl glycol and sorbic acid. With this uh, ingredients list, for the Cucumber Nourishing Shampoo. It is another standard formula. There's nothing that stands out as unique or different than many other brands of shampoo. Uh, starting with the number one ingredient being water. It's distilled water. Again, it's purified water, removing contaminants from it. The infused with organic cucumber fruit juice. 
that is just pure marketing jargon talk that is there to lure a customer to buy the product but it does not contribute towards the work of the product which is as a shampoo to clean your hair uh, it might give it a nice cucumber smell the number two ingredient is the coca mito propyl betaine which is also in the lemon and rosemary clarifying shampoo that is also a foam booster it helps to create foam it's and also helps to thicken the product's formula the number three the sodium c14-16 alpha olefin sulfonate that's also in the lemon and rosemary clarifying shampoo it's a harsh detergent or surfactant helping with cleaning your hair and by the way this sodium c14-16 alpha olefin sulfonate is derived from coconut oil Number four ingredient is diesel glucoside. That is a surfactant as well, but it's a mild surfactant or a gentle surfactant. And what it's in there to do is to take the harshness or reduce the harshness of the sodium C14-16 alpha olefin sulfonate. So these two surfactants are put together in order to balance out and make the sodium one, the sodium surfactant, less harsh. So that is a sign that it is a milder shampoo than the lemon and rosemary clarifying shampoo. Number five ingredient is aloe vera leaf juice and that is a marketing claim. I have an article I will link in the comment section below. and you can see what cosmetic chemists think of aloe vera leaf juice being added to a formula and they really don't think it does anything other than help to lure a customer to buy the product but other than that it doesn't have any significant effect on doing the work of the product and then the number six ingredient is the phenozia Thanol and caprolyl glycol sorbic acid that is uh, are all ingredients as a preservative to help the uh, product not go bad. So those are the main ingredients. So what I would say about the shampoos are that they are both standard shampoos. Uh, the cucumber nourishing shampoo it goes for fifteen dollars, I believe, for twelve ounces. The lemon and rosemary clarifying shampoo goes for $13. The ingredients that do the work of the product, it's raining over here. The, ingre the ingredients that do the work of the product in both of these shampoos, they are standard ingredients. They are in compliance with the United States Federal Drug Administration rules of being approved ingredients that can be used in mass production in a formula so that's what they did and you're getting a basic shampoo in both of these so I would say if you want to buy it buy it it's not super expensive it's uh, a standard shampoo It's there to clean your hair one is harsher than the other um, and just go from there so that is it for the shampoos and I'm going to move on to the conditioners and I will be back for that in two seconds.